What's up y'all, it's Shane Sham and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about the books that I actually used in nursing school and how I use them. So in nursing school, of course, they tell you to buy every single book. See, for me, I'm the kind of person I learn by reading. So a lot of the books I did buy, but some of them I did not use. So I'll be talking about the books that I bought that I actually found useful, why I found them useful and I hope that this helps you guys. So the first book that I found very, very useful was this book right here. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Getting Into Nursing School. I really like this book because it kind of takes you through the whole journey of nursing school. So it has application tips, it has like a self-assessment to see if you really, really want to do nursing, and then it has stuff or advice to give you when you're inside of nursing school. So it talks about time management, and then it talks about if you don't get into nursing school, what you could do, and then it talks about if you want to go to grad school, it talks about applications after you graduate from nursing school. It has a lot of good stuff in here. I really, really found this book useful, and I'm still using it today because I'm about to graduate, so there's gonna be some um, good tips in here that I can take from the book. The next book that I found very, very useful was this Pathophysiology Pearson Reviews and Rationales book. Um, this book was actually recommended to me by one of my subbies because I told her, or she saw my video about me struggling in pathophysiology and she said that this book helped her a lot. So I went and I found this book on Amazon and it actually did help me a whole lot in pathophysiology. And then it has this access code that I, you can see I scratched off, but it has like questions that you can use to practice and stuff like that. But this book was very, very useful. Like if you look here, it has like EKG strips and it talks about um, all the arrhythmias of the heart and stuff like that. It kind of just summarizes it, you know? But this is a good book. The next book that I found very, very useful, which is probably going to be surprising to you guys, is the Nursing Diagnosis Handbook. So this book was actually required for our program when we first, first got into nursing school. And some people say that they don't like the book because it's heavy and there's just so much information. But when it came to completing care plans and also doing my um, clinical notes and things like that, like we had to do a lot of nursing diagnosis and we have to do like a lot of, we have to do rationales for why we implement those nursing um, interventions and diagnoses and all those things. And it has evidence-based um, examples or evidence-based um, research for why you should do each intervention. And sometimes we did have to include that stuff in our clinical notes. So I really, really like this book, even though it is heavy. Um, it's a good book and it has a lot of nursing diagnoses that like you can't find on Google. You know what I mean? Like you can go on Google and you can type in a care plan, but you're probably going to get the very, very basic, you know, nursing diagnoses. But these ones have like really, really like specific nursing diagnoses. And um, yeah, it just has like really good research for why each one, each intervention should be implemented. A book that I found very, very useful, as you can see, is like raggedy and falling apart. But this is called the HESI Comprehensive Review for the NCLEX RN Examination. This book was another book that was recommended like in one of the first classes that I took in nursing school. But at my school, we are required to take a HESI um, test at the end of each semester. Um, and it has like each section of um, nursing. So it has like a maternity nursing section. It has a med search section. It has like a leadership section. It has a, an advanced clinical concept section. And this book really has helped me with passing my HESI. Like I remember the very first time I used it, I think I got like a 900 on my first HESI, but then like the semester after that I didn't use it and I did not pass HESI. So this book really does help me. And I'm using this right now because we have like a, a HESI that is comprehensive and it covers everything that we've ever learned in nursing school. So um, I've been using this and I've been using the online um, little like portal thingy to do questions and I really find this book super super helpful. The My favorite part about this book are these little green boxes. So these little green boxes are HESI hints and if you really use this book in its totality I think that this will really help you with your HESI. The last book is this NCLEX RN examination book. This book is super super heavy but I'm probably sure y'all have seen this. Um, but this is a book for NCLEX and this newer edition, my friend actually did give this to me. I had the older edition. 
I think it was like purple and white. Um, but I used this book when I was taking PEDS because a lot of the questions or the style of questions were kind of similar to the NCLEX questions here. But I like this book and I'm gonna be using this to study for my NCLEX of course, but I really, really like this book. I found it very, very, very useful. So that about wraps up this video, guys. Those are the five books that I found very, very useful in nursing school. I hope that it helps you guys. And of course, I will see y'all in my next video.